Hello guys and welcome to your second Blitz 3 tutorial in which I will be teaching you how to create primitive objects or certain primitive objects. Uh, now that you can see we've just as you can see we've started off with all the code from our previous tutorial and uh, yeah so let's get started. So there's four primitive objects uh, that you can create automatically with one simple command uh, as we did with create sphere that was by the way one of the primitive objects you can create but another primitive object uh, is a cylinder and we can just uh, create a variable named cylinder set it equal to create cylinder uh, and clearly to actually see it displayed we need to use position entity uh, in our code and position entity once again I want to mention that entity is actually objects it's an object so you're pretty much just positioning an object uh, position entity cylinder and let's position it uh, slightly to the left of our sphere negative two comma zero comma five now if we run this program currently we should get a cylinder right next to the sphere right here and you might notice that they're, they're not they're not very you know this this sphere isn't very sphere like and none, neither is this cylinder that's because it's segmented you can kind of see like these small segments to actually make it look a bit more round you can in these parentheses you can say put thirty two thirty two to put the number of segments uh, the object has and if you do that it'll look a lot rounder and a lot more high def uh, as I've just done here and it looks a lot nicer in my opinion at least uh, so yeah the cylinder is one other object and there's also a cube that you can create so cube is equal to create cube is the command you use for it uh, well it's, it's a relatively simple object you don't even need segments to display it well uh, and we can once again use position entity cube uh, comma let's position it to the right this time shall we comma two comma five there we go and without further ado let's move on to the final and last object cone uh, set it equal to create cone and uh, let's position position let's position it using position entity and let's position it slightly below the sphere uh, let's see at the same level as the sphere slightly below it which is on the y-axis so I'm just gonna put it leave it as negative two so if I run this program BAM we get the real deal here we get our cylinder, we get our sphere, we get our cube, and our cone that is below it. And as you can see, it's kind of uh, it's kind of an octagonal base, oddly a he hexagonal base. I mean, our cone is a very strange-looking base. So we can once again put 32 in the parentheses to make it a lot rounder. And bam, looks very nice and very round. Uh, and it has also come to my attention that uh, I believe. Uh, some of you might actually need, not actually know what x and y x y and z coordinates are and I've actually found a very nice picture of that uh, let me pause the video and navigate to that okay here we are uh, here's the nice picture I found that demonstrates this concept very well uh, here we have a, a y at the y axis the x axis and the z axis so when we position an object at you know two zero five oops sorry one sec there uh, two zero five it's two on the x-axis two on the x-axis zero on the y and the z-axis we move forward so if we if with five if we put five we've actually moved five units forward and that's kind of where the z-axis comes from and it, how it's it's what really allows two-dimensional objects on the x and y plane to expand into three-dimensional objects uh... yes uh, so I think now that I've actually cleared that up, I think it's uh, time for me to call this tutorial to an end. Uh, we finally learned, you know, some some pretty cool primitive objects that we can use, and I think it's really cool that you know uh, these commands are automatic and included in the Blitz 3D uh, API. But you know, it's very very cool. Uh, and once again, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.